What's going on? So I'm going to be trying out these Evolved Skeletons today and see how I like them. I've played a few games, but I haven't really been able to utilize them too well so far. Um, it's pretty hard to cycle to the Skeletons, like, since it takes three, you have to play them three times before you can even get to the Evolved ones. It's a little bit difficult to do it. Um, I think that's, I think that's just like one or one or two cycles too many. Honestly, you could play them every two skeletons, and I think it'd be just fine. By the way, this deck is literally everywhere, and the Mighty Miner is currently glitched, where the bomb, as you see right there, the bomb literally takes out everything in its path, like basically does 800 damage, I think, which is absolutely stupid. Basically does two rockets on your tower if you let them pop a one elixir ability. Like, what is happening? I, I hope it's a glitch, because they haven't changed it yet and i don't know what they're doing but i'm gonna go for the expo here he's probably gonna go hog so i'll prediction skellies and then have the ice was down um okay how did that ice was not splash uh okay this is kind of a bad start i'm not gonna lie maybe i went too aggressive he's just gonna firecracker yeah um gets the one free shot with the firecracker then we can log it to the side not too bad we take like 200 damage ish um oh my goodness please just let it die Everybody and their mother right now is playing freaking Hog Firecracker, and it's actually so annoying. Um, like, usually it's my matchup, but as soon as this, as the Super Firecracker comes on the board, it literally just shoots through my entire deck and hits my tower somehow. Um, have not had good experiences with that card so far. Uh, I also am very, very tempted to just buy the stupid offer in the shop and get all the evolutions leveled up. Um, I really want to play with, like, I want to try out the new Firecracker and and the, uh, I guess, not really the Royal, the Royal Giant, because, like, I never play Royal Giant. I hate going up against Royal Giant, but, I mean, maybe I could make a video with it. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to give him money, but I, I really want to try out the new cards, so I'm kind of at a dilemma right now on what to do. Um, I know every, most of the other creators, I'm not going to say everyone, but most have already bought it and bought it, like, right away. I don't know. I feel I feel conflicted about it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll see what we end up. We'll see what I end up doing. Um, we do have the evolved skellies in hand now. I'm just gonna go for the rocket. He's probably gonna pop the ability, which is fine with me. But I was gonna rocket the tower anyways before he played that mighty miner. Um, so I'm just gonna go for the ice was in the back. Maybe we, maybe we can utilize the. Okay, there's the firecracker. Um, I'm gonna honestly just go for these in the back so I can log NATO and kill this firecracker. And yeah, my evolved skellies get zero value. Rip. He's already back to like. This is what I mean about this deck. It's like it's it's just. Ugh. Um, I don't even have a word to describe it, just just that sound, just ugh. I'm just gonna go for the log to push back all of this. Firecracker is gonna activate my King Tower actually right there, which is gonna be pretty helpful for the rest of this game. Um, I guess we can just go for an offensive bow, cause he might try and spam in that opposite lane with the Firecracker. Okay, he is gonna go Bomb Tower, which is fine. We can just do a normal Tesla in the middle here. And then Ice was Opai to kill that Firecracker. Um, Expo should get a connection if I log really quickly. Okay, we get like, 200-ish damage, but you know, I'll take it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for another offensive, keep the pressure on. Um, I don't want him to just be comfortable um, going in on offense the whole game with his firecracker spam. So he is forced to earthquake, which is good for me. I'll go for the skellies up high and then go for the Tesla. Oh my gosh, please die. He said, what? He has two firecrackers. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the log. Hopefully that doesn't get a shot still. Um, I probably would have cried if that still shot my tower after I logged it. Um, but we'll just go for NATO and then rocket immediately. Stay up on damage. Okay, now I'm just gonna make sure every defense is precise and accurate here, especially against this deck because it's very, very punishing when you make a mistake. Okay, he is gonna go for the preemptive bomb tower. Eh, I'm fine with that. I am gonna have to... All right, we're just gonna log to hit the firecracker early here. He's gonna go hog. Yep, there it is. So we'll get this down. Actually gonna go for the tornado as well, just to pull everything back. Um, get my evolved skellies down. Maybe they'll do something this time. Nope, they did not. <laughs> um, we'll just go for the ice fist inside. No, he's got the firecracker. Okay, um, I have nothing. The knights, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. What is happening on my tower right now? Like, I couldn't even tell you. My, there goes a thousand damage. Okay, anyways, um, I'm just gonna go for the natal log. Hopefully this hog dies. The firecracker somehow was surviving everything right there. Um, 27 seconds. I'm gonna have to go for two rockets, so we'll get the prediction bomb tower down. Um, not really a prediction, but just a preemptive placement. Go for the rocket. Now, nice! We catch the bomb tower. Um, did I say... I think I said bomb... I placed the bomb tower. I don't know. My commentary is everywhere at the moment. Um, 10 seconds left. I don't know why I'm even... How am I so 
I, I'm, I'm winning this game. I don't really know how. Um, okay, I thought that was about to magically make it to my tower. I honestly have no idea if the firecracker is going to splash or not um, with the evolved version. But we win the game. Let's go. I have yet to beat this deck um, so far. I probably played it like four or five times, but we finally end up beating it. Man, that firecracker is something else. Like It genuinely feels like he's just earthquaking my tower over and over. Well, 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 look who it is. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I cannot stand going up against this guy, and that is exactly why right there. He literally just tosses every single drop of elixir at the bridge the entire game and, like, doesn't even think about his plays. He plays dart goblins in the middle, and then he just spams drill wall breakers the entire match. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty fun. So, yeah, I call this guy basically the new Man Manuel. Um, oh, my lord. You see exactly what I mean right there. Like, what in the world? <laughs> The game just started and he's just dropping Skarmy Skelly King at the river like uh, I want to hit him with the question mark emote but you know we're gonna refrain just in case he somehow um spam out spams and uh beats me that would be pretty embarrassing but yeah this is the uh, modern day Manuel since I don't think he plays anymore uh, okay he's gonna go for the drill we'll just get a knight down in the back okay he's gonna play it up high once again um pretty easy defense again i mean he's just it's like i don't know something about his gameplay is very very just repetitive and he, it's like he doesn't know what he's doing he's just repeating the same uh interaction over and over i'm just gonna go for the skellies um okay wait skellies up high to catch that dart goblin then we can go for the ice was in the back um fireball on nothing okay we'll go for the knight in the back here Let's see, I need to start building up a push opposite lane because I don't want to go same lane as this guy. Obviously, he's got the fireball. Honestly, I'm just going to send it. We can go for the expo. He overcommits with the wall breakers drill push. I can just go for the log right here. We take a lot of damage, but he did just fireball, so I think we can maybe get a lock on here. There's just no way he has that much elixir. Um, okay, we can NATO in this uh, ability really quickly, then go for the skellies. He's going to dark gob. Please get the knight down. Okay, we get the knight down. The fire spirit does splash, though. Unfortunately, that was very, very close to um being a perfect defense on the expo we still get a ton of damage and obviously he's just going to spam the bridge with another drill i mean every three seconds you, you can expect one to just be like he's fireballing that too classic uh classic plays from this guy we're just going to go for the ice foods and look at that we finally have the evolved skellies so yep easy prediction on the wall breakers look at this skarmy we're about to have let's go we have six skeletons on the board so op i mean honestly please uh nerf them that's just broken um <laughs> i'm kidding they're they're pretty pretty weak i'm gonna be honest i'm just gonna go for the tesla up high looking for the skarmy from him right here um okay there's the skarmy don't want to go ice whiz because he's already probably gonna fireball yeah i would have just given him a ton of more value and this is where we can get him in a good cycle okay um i'll go for the expo and then he's got no elixir right now like actually none i'm just gonna go for the knight on top of the dark gob then we can log the skarmy and he should be dead there's no way he has enough elixir for an inferno tower um if we get the ice was down to stop those wall breakers let's go ggs and uh, he plays a dark goblin i mean you guys see by his gameplay I, I don't know how he gets top ladder by literally just tossing cards on the river the entire match but i guess you got to give him the respect uh evolve skelly has got so much value in that matchup wow I found a match here against Sully. Let's see if we can get some value out of these skeletons this match. I'm just going to cycle him early here. Probably shouldn't have done that because now I don't have anything for the miner. I guess we'll log. Um, kind of the only thing I could do right there. Unfortunately, I guess I'll just... Yeah, my starting hand is very, very bad right now. Um, Kind of just have to wait for him to make a play. It seems like he's playing a pretty quick cycle deck. So it looks like he is going to make the play. I'll just go for the Tesla in the middle. Kind of have no choice but to just sack that right there not that we need tesla for anything since i think he's playing minor rocket um, i'm just gonna go for the ice was in the back um expecting him to go for another minor here soon um, he's gonna play it right into the ice was he just doesn't care that's fair enough i guess i'll just go knight up high so the e spirit does not chain on my tower and then honestly i could just rock it right now um i'm gonna go expo though see what he wants to do to defend Okay, he is going to Dark Prince. I'm expecting maybe an Inferno Tower. Um, no, he's going to go for the Rocket, so well played, I guess. Unfortunately, I am going to have to log this as well, since I played pretty bad Skeletons right there. But, you know, at least we're cycling to the Evolve version. That's all we're trying to do here. Um, just want to see if we can get some value out of him, at least on defense or something. Obviously, on offense, they're not going to get you any value majority of the time. Except for that one short that I posted. I don't know if you guys watched that or not, but that was pretty insane. They, like, actually chained all the way to the tower. I've never seen anything like that. Um, I could just rock at the tower now. Let's see. Kind of interested to see what he does first. Um, 
He's gonna have to Dark Prince, right? Like you would think. Nah, he's gonna go Delivery. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for... Okay, I suppose he gets me one shot. I could go for the Expo, but he might... Um... I'm just gonna rocket the tower. I don't know, I feel kinda in a bad cycle right now. I'm gonna have to go log and then Skelly's on top of the miner. My tower is targeting that Dark Prince, so yeah, we're gonna take no damage. Really good defense right there. Um, I was just trying to cycle back to my knight. It was a little bit difficult to do, but we did manage to do it. Um, no, Not really a point in going Expo in this matchup too often unless he rockets my tower, because it's gonna be like impossible to get one to connect. Um, Tesla at the bridge is gonna be pretty annoying for him. I can just cycle my log and then go for the Evolve Skelly's on the miner. Oh, look at this value. Actually, that, that is really good value because we don't take any damage. And it's only for one elixir, so I'm definitely not complaining. If he tries to go Inferno, I can easily stop this with the Knight Ice Wiz. Um, I think he played it out of range, too. I don't know. Maybe I didn't even need that um, Knight or Ice Wiz. Um, I'm just going to go for the Log here. Let's see. Go for another Skelly's up high. Nah, eh, not breaking through. Something about the Miner on top of the Expo just always seems to take it out really easily. I'll just go for another Tesla up high and then another Bow at the river. Um, he might try an Inferno this one, since I did play it a little bit over to the side, like, where he could actually snipe it, but he didn't play the placement correctly anyways. I'm just gonna go for a log right here, and then NATO this miner. Okay, we're connecting. Yep, that's gonna be a connection. And at this point, like, if you're playing this deck, you cannot allow any damage at all. I'm, I'm not gonna, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he just gives up, which he does. We'll just go Skelly's to make sure that miner um, dies and doesn't get any damage on the expo, then that's gonna be GG's. Honestly, my matchup, you just have to keep the pressure on the entire game and not allow them to get a ton of minor damage. But the Evolve Skellies on defense, actually a little bit solid that game. Uh, definitely impressed me for the uh, first time ever. All right, going to go for one more game here, and we're up against Sweep. Um, okay, Lava first play, nice. We're just going to go for the Expo, same lane. Did just cycle my Skellies, so this is going to be... Uh, okay. Goes for the Eye Drag, which I'm actually okay with since it is going to cross the river before the Tez uh, before the lava hound wow i cannot speak today um tesla's gonna clean up this eye drag um and basically i'm just trying to cycle my skellies at any chance i get because i just really want to try the evolution as much as possible even though you know it isn't great it is still fun to play um just gonna have to rock it right there and i can't go ice fizz because then he balloons their lane and i have zero elixir so gotta be a little bit patient here just take some damage probably gonna be about even on towers um looks like he's gonna have the lead actually unfortunately for us Hmm, okay, so I don't think he has Fireball, which is like, okay, I'm gonna have to go Log and then Ice was up high. Let's see what he wants to do here. Um, I'm hoping this counters, I actually don't really know, I think it will, as long as he doesn't like Zap or something. Uh, yeah, it is gonna counter. Um, we do take death damage, but it's fine. Pretty good push by him actually, because he realized, wow, he's going for another Lava? Um, okay, he's playing super aggressive right now. He doesn't have his Miner in Cycle, though, so this is going to be a pretty easy defense since he doesn't have Loon in Cycle either. Um, as long as I don't just play horribly, I should be fine. We'll just go Skelly's first and then probably Rocket if he zaps. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna have to Rocket. Um, we'll go for the Ice Wiz right away just to help out with these pups. I do not want to take any more damage. Like, we're past that point of where I can tank uh, an entire set of Lava Pups. Usually that's just on the first push against Lava Hound, but let's see. Um, he might be playing Evolve Barbarian since he's playing Lava. I'm not sure if he even has Barbs, but I would that's what I would guess. I'm going to go for the Knight in the back in case he wants to go ahead and try to Miner, which it looks like he is going to do to pull back the Knight, which is fine with me because Tesla's going to clean up the rest of this right here. Um, I am actually going to NATO it off just for a second, keep my Tesla alive, and then go for the Offensive Bow here in a second. Okay, never mind, he's going to Eye Drag Perdition. Um, I'm gonna go for the bow now because he might lava in front. No, okay, definitely. Yeah, he is playing the evolved barbs. You saw the little purple icon. We'll go for the Tesla up high to help out with these skelly drags. Get the skeletons evolved down here on the eye drag. Um, looks like he is just gonna arrow them, unfortunately, because they would have gotten some decent value if he didn't. So, I mean, at least they forced out arrows, right? Positive two trade. Um, we'll take it. Just gonna go for. I'm actually down a lot of damage, way more than I thought. I'm gonna go for the ice whiz once again. And then this time, I'm gonna go. Wow, okay, he's just so aggressive with his lavas, I don't understand. He's definitely going to skelly drag, so I'll predict those with the Tesla. Actually, we hit one with the rocket, so really bad placement by him right there. Um, Knight's going to get on tower, and this is where we could... Oh, okay, there's the evolved barbs. Um, Tesla should stay alive enough to take out the majority of them, I want to say. We'll go for the log right here, and let's see if my troops can actually, you know, help me out. Um, man, they are shredding through everything, though. Oh my gosh, what in the world? They're like e-barbs right now. Okay, we'll go for the Tesla up high. 
Um, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just go for the Expo, and I think he might be in trouble here. He doesn't have his Barbs and Cycle. Yeah, we can just block at the bridge with the Knight and then Tornado everything back, and that's going to be GG's. Pretty good gameplay right there. I mean, once again, didn't get any value from the Evolved Skellies. Overall, I give him like a 3 out of 10. Definitely the worst evolution in my opinion, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, peace.